CarMax, a major player in the used car market, has bumped their seven-day guarantee out to 30 days. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth. Our mission is to help you, the car buyers, out there. There is a disclaimer here. If you buy from CarMax, don't take the vehicle on a road trip or vacation the moment you buy it, because the money-back guarantee is 30 days or 1,500 miles, whichever is less. If you put too many miles in the car before the 30 days runs out, the car is yours. CarMax, a national chain of used car dealerships, has grown rapidly over the years and for good reason. The company promises a no-pressure, low-stress buying experience. But does it deliver? That's what we're going to discuss. Well, good on CarMax for offering a 30-day guarantee like this. Yeah. It gives you all the time you need to get it inspected and properly try it out, and it's a guarantee that is unmatched in the car business. Here's a well-done video ad that CarMax put out to share their 30-day guarantee. Imagine you want to buy a car. It could be this car, or that car, or 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 this car. Now imagine something better, like shopping from your bathtub, and making sure it's the one on the lot, and being able to buy from wherever you want. Now imagine having 30 days to get your money back if you don't love your new car, but you do love it. So imagine driving off into the, well, you know. Many dealers put so much pressure on you to buy extra stuff and pay hidden fees that they'd never do a guarantee like this. Why? Because everyone would just bring the car back after the heat of the moment passed, <laughs> right. would they? Oh, yeah. And, you know, CarMax does accept trade-ins, too. And a good-to-know point is that the CarMax offer for your used car is the same if you wish to sell it to CarMax outright or on a trade-in, just like it should be. You can actually trade in your car at CarMax even if it isn't running. CarMax does not prioritize non-running vehicles. They would prefer that they run. However, <laughs> it's quite possible to get a better quote for your vehicle if it doesn't run, as well as free towing and tri title transfer with a service such as Damaged Cars. Get an offer from DamagedCars.com. It takes just a few seconds. Here's the website. You'll need to have your VIN number handy, so just get that before you get started. Here's a little background on CarMax. When people think of buying used cars, it's typically a process filled with dread, right? That's why you're on the Homework Guide channel. You spend hours researching car options online, you test drive many cars, then negotiate a price with the salesman while he tries to pressure you into souped up models and expensive upgrades. Dealer lot add-ons and the finance office tries to pressure you into tons of extra fees. Fake fees you should not pay. CarMax is the first significant attempt in the auto industry to actually change the image of used car dealerships. Besides being a more friendly environment for car buyers, CarMax is proud to have been recognized for 17 consecutive years as one of the Fortune 100 best companies to work for. Not that's, too that's shabby. Huge. It surprises some people to find out that it was the electronics retailer Circuit City who branched out into used car sales in 1993 by opening the first CarMax in Richmond, Virginia. It's interesting that they chose Richmond because it's also the city where they started Ward TV in that eventually became Circuit City. You may have noticed some similarities in the bold font and the storefront between CarMax and Circuit City. Incidentally, Circuit City was a 59-year-old company when they closed their doors forever on March 8th, 2009. The company set out on a mission to give customers a car buying opportunity without the typical games and wasted time and a fun experience and the security of a sound warranty. Since that time, the CarMax dealership group has grown to become a Fortune 500 company with hundreds of used car stores across the country. Now for a few pros and cons using CarMax. Let's start with CarMax pros. If you go to a dealership, you can only drive that company's make and model. At CarMax, you can test drive lots of brands all at the same time at the same location. And CarMax guarantees that its cars have never been designated as salvaged or flood damaged, which are two hazards of buying from a private seller or a less reputable dealer. Their vehicles have that new car feel. The company thoroughly cleans and refurbishes its vehicles so they look good inside and out. The customer service is reported to be great, from helping customers test drive plenty of cars and answering all of their questions to following through on extended warranty replacements CarMax is praised across the board for the people it employs and the hassle-free sales process it uses. Now, a few CarMax cons. Their prices aren't as low as other dealers. When compared to other dealers, CarMax prices are found to be consistently higher 
often by a few thousand dollars. That's because they have more overhead, which the site points out. While selling your car to CarMax is easy, the company says clearly that they'll buy it for less than retail value because they have to inspect it and resell it. You may want to get an offer from other dealers or check the Cali Blue Book value first. Also, be aware that you may have to pay a non-refundable fee to transfer a vehicle you're interested in from another location. So how does CarMax compare to Carvana? We just did a video on Carvana, so check it out if you missed it. The Carvana car buying option takes place almost entirely online. You can browse cars online, buy your car without haggling, and then you don't have to go to the dealer. It will be delivered to you. If you're comfortable buying a car entirely online, Carvana saves you a trip to the lot. However, if you want to test drive the car before committing, CarMax is a much more hands-on experience. Also, CarMax has had half the number of consumer complaints that Carvana has had. There's another option to CarMax or any dealer, and that's private party sellers. Right. This can be someone you find on Craigslist or your neighbor down the street. Buying directly from the seller can give you more details about the car, as well as give you a leg up on negotiating. Without a company doing an official checkup of the car, this option might also be a bit risky, so make sure you ask the seller if you can take it to an independent mechanic for an inspection. Also ask to see the title and make sure it's in their name. If you're confident in your car knowledge, buying from a seller directly might be for you. But if you want a middleman for peace of mind, the CarMax might be the better option. So the question is, should you go with CarMax? Their biggest appeal is how simple CarMax makes the used car buying process. If you want a no pressure, no hassle, and low risk car buying experience, CarMax can make that happen. However, if your primary goal is to get the best price on a used vehicle, and you feel like with the help of our videos that you've mastered the art of negotiation, you may be better off buying online from another dealer or private seller. And a couple of viewers shared their thoughts here on CarMax on our recent video about Carvana. Gene Hart writes, The car vending machine of Carvana was a unique gimmick, but the allure is fading fast. I'm still very pleased with CarMax. And then Grant Cutler adds, I know CarMax charges more for vehicles, but the one advantage when I did buy my car was I got hard plates that day, the day of the sale. Nice. Excellent. CarMax has fared better than some when it comes to car inventory. After selling 832,000 cars in 2020, CarMax dropped back to 751,000 last year, or 10% below the previous year. According to CarMax CEO Bill Nash, inventory shortages are serving as a severe headwind for used car dealers, but he sees signs that inventory shortages are improving. This is great news. Yeah. Saleable inventory at CarMax grew sequentially in each month during the quarter, despite strong retail demand, and the company is on track to grow its inventory over the remainder of the year. We're making strides continuing to get our inventory up, so we feel good about that, Nash said. This is actually great news for everyone in general around the country. As inventory shortages correct themselves, the grossly bloated car prices will come down too. The entire Hallmark Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.